Okay, welcome back. We're talking about object snaps in this tutorial. In the last tutorial we talked about, we introduced you to object snaps and we talked about some of the basic ones. Here we're going to talk a little bit more about some of the other object snaps and some of the settings that you can use um, to make these work a little bit better for you. All right, let's talk about some of the object snaps that work with arcs and circles. Now let's say I've got a circle here, okay? And just like lines have an end point and a midpoint, circles have points on them as well. Uh, they have quadrants. A quadrant is at each uh, 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree, and 270 degree mark is a point on that circle called a quadrant. And you can snap to those points using your quadrant object snap. Uh, circles obviously also have a center point. So we have a center point object snap. So let's, let's work with some of those right now. Let's say I wanted to draw a circle exactly in the center of that circle. This is very, very common. You have one circle and then you want to draw a circle within that circle and you want their center points obviously to line up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the circle command and I'm going to use this one right here, center radius. And I've started the command and remember when you're using that center radius drawing tool, uh, the circle, it's going to say, okay, start the circle, and it's going to ask me to specify the center point of my circle. Don't worry about these other options here. It's asking me to specify the center point of my circle, just like it would any other time I started that command. To do that, instead of me just drawing arbitrarily, again, I'm going to use my object snaps. I'm going to hit my shift key, my right mouse button, and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on center. Now what that's going to do is it's going to create an object snap that's going to match or hit the exact center of that circle. And to pick the exact center of that circle and to, to make that object snap work or that O snap work, I either need to get close to the edge of that circle, somewhere along the circle's edge, or close to the center of that circle. And what it's going to do, it's going to show that little circle icon. And that tells me that if I were to pick right now, my selection is going to be the exact center point of that circle that I'm closest to or that my cursor is close to. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I've started my circle command. AutoCAD's asking me where do I want to define the center of my circle. Well, I'm going to use my object snap here and I'm going to use the center of this circle and I'm going to pick and I've started another circle and now I know that their center points are exactly matched or they match exactly. So for my radius, let's say I just, I'm just going to type in 0.5 and I'm going to hit enter. So now I've got two circles whose centers are exactly matched up. They, have, they use the exact same point in my Cartesian coordinate workspace or in my AutoCAD workspace. Okay, So that's the center point object snap. The other one um, is quadrant. Let's say I wanted to draw a circle at exactly the quadrant or exactly this 180 degree mark on this circle. So I'm going to start my circle command again. And AutoCAD's asking me, okay, specify the center point of your circle. Well, instead of me just picking arbitrarily, I'm going to bring out my OSNAP menu. I'm going to go over here to Quadrant. And notice I can pick here, or here, or here, or here, and it's going to show me which quadrant I'm going to go to, or, or it's going to snap to when I, when I pick. So if I want to start the center point of this new circle exactly on the quadrant of this circle, then I'm just going to get that quadrant O snap going there and then I can pick and now notice I've got a circle that starts or whose center point is exactly on the quadrant of that circle. I'm just going to pick somewhere arbitrarily out here in space. Okay, I'll erase that one. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead. Now, nah, let me erase that. Okay, so that works with circles. It works with lines. So I'm going to start a line command. Uh, let's say I want to start a line and I want to start at exactly the quadrant right here of this circle. I'm just going to pick here, and now I've got uh, a line starting at exactly that quadrant. And if I want to go to the quadrant of that next circle, that inner circle, bring up my OSNAP menu, click on quadrant, and then pick this point here on this center circle, or more central circle, pick there, and then hit enter to end my line command, and there I go. No matter how far I zoom in, again, it's going to touch at exactly one point and will not cross on either one of those circles. So that's the quadrant. Now here's tangent. Now if you remember back in geometry, tangent means uh, there's a, an object that crosses a arc or circle at exactly one point on that arc or circle and doesn't doesn't cross it, but it only but it touches it at exactly only one point. Probably not the best explanation, but if you pull out those old geography or excuse me algebra books, 
or geometry books, you can, uh, can you can look that up. Probably get a lot better description than I just gave you. But anyway, so let's say I've got two circles here, okay? And I want to draw a line from the tangent point of this circle to the tangent point of that circle. Well, I mean, I'm going to zoom in here, make it a little bit easier for you to see. Well, if I were just to guess, boy, that would be pretty hard. I have to do some calculations to figure out where that is because if I picked here, you know, pretty close. Well, I'm not going to get exactly tangent, am I? I mean, I'm going to be either crossing or I'm not going to touch it exactly. So instead, I'm going to use my object snap tangent. So I'm going to start my line command, bring up my O snap menu, and I'm going to say tangent. So for my first point of my line, I'm going to say tangent 2, and then notice my little tangent icon pops up. Tangent 2, notice my command line. This circle, approximately somewhere right around here, okay? And then notice as I move my line around, watch, look at that. Look how it stays, that initial point is tangent, okay? Now for my second point, I want it to be tangent to this circle. So again, I'm going to bring up my OSNAP menu, click on tangent. Now I'm going to move over to this circle, and look at there. If I pick up here, it's going to be tangent up here. If I pick down here, it's going to be tangent there. Let's pick here. I see my icon. Hit enter and hit enter again. Now look at that. This line starts exactly tangent to this circle and ends exactly tangent to this circle. It doesn't cross, but it touches at exactly one point on those two circles. So that's your tangent object snap. Okay. Uh, a couple of other object snaps. Uh, parallel. Parallel is a great one. It's a, a little bit tricky to use until you get used to it. Let's take a step back and let's look at some of your O snap settings before we get into parallel. What you can do is instead of having to bring up this menu every single time, uh, what you can do is you can go to your O snap settings. You can either right click on your object snap button right here, or you can just simply, without any command started on your command line, just hold down your shift key, hit your right mouse button, and go over here to O snap settings. This is going to bring your, your O snap settings. What you can do is you can turn on what's called running object snap, it means that your O snaps are on and always looking for an O snap all the time. And you can define right here, or you can check which modes you want to be on. Okay? You can either hit your F3 key or you can bring up this dialog box and just click this check box. And then let's say I'm going to turn all of them off except for endpoint and uh, let's say center. Okay? So those are the two O snaps that I want on all the time. Notice my little button here, it looks like it's highlighted there. That means that my O snaps or my running object snaps are on. So now when I start a line, instead of me having to go and bring up that menu every time, I've turned on my endpoint and also the center point object snaps. So if I get close to the endpoint of this line, notice the little square box tells me that if I pick, I'm going to get the endpoint of that line. Or I can scoot over here and pick the edge of this circle. Notice in the center of that circle, my little circle icon is popping up telling me that I'm getting ready to pick the center point of that circle if I were to pick right now. So let's say I wanted to pick here and then I want to go over here and I want to pick the center of this circle. Then I want to go to the end point of this line and then back to the center point of that circle. Okay. Notice I didn't have to turn on my object snaps every single time. I just turned on my running object snap. Again, I can just hit my shift key hold down my shift key, right mouse button, go to O snap settings and turn that running object snap on here select the ones or the modes that I want on continuously or I can just turn it on and off by just picking right here turning it on, oops, excuse me, turning it on and off or again I can just hit my F3 button on my keyboard that turns it on and off as well okay and then whichever modes that I have selected let me get out of here whichever modes that I have selected are the ones that are going to be running. Now I can add to those. So if I have endpoint and center point going and I have my um, O snaps in, in my O snaps are running or my O snaps are on, if I draw a line and I say okay I want to let's say I want to go to the center here or excuse me endpoint here but you know what I don't want to do center or endpoint here I actually want to do the midpoint of that circle. Well that's fine just go ahead just like you would at any other time hit your shift key your right mouse button Go down here to pick midpoint, and that's going to override any of the running object snaps that you've set or that you've turned on. So now I'm just going to come over here and pick the midpoint of that line, and there you go. 
So those, those are some of your object snap settings and your running object snaps. One other thing that you can do uh, with your running object snaps, if you've got your running object snaps on, let me erase some of this, this junk here. Occasionally you'll have those running object snaps on and you don't want it to pick the end point. So what you can do is, let's say you start a line here and you pick somewhere arbitrarily out in space. It's like, you know what, I want that line to go right here, but I don't want it to pick that end point. Instead of having to go over here and turn this off, what you can do is bring up your menu, oops, bring up your menu and go down here and pick on none. What that's going to do is term temporarily, at least for this pick point, it's going to temporarily disable my object snaps so they're not turning on. So I'm going to pick oh, somewhere here. Now on my next point, they're going to pop up and they're going to turn back on again. So just by picking the none object snap, that temporarily turns them off for this next pick. So that's how you can easily turn them off uh, for one pick. Okay, and finally, back over here under object snap settings, we're going to turn on object snap tracking. Now, object snap tracking, uh, first of all, you have to have other, you have to have your object snap on and you have to have at least one other object snap mode on. But what it allows you to do is draw relative to an object snap. Um, well, let me just kind of show you and it'll probably explain a little bit better. So I've turned on, again, I've turned on um, my object snap tracking and I have my O snaps on. Let me kind of zoom out here and let's say I've got a line here. This, this happens a lot. You have a line, I'm going to turn my ortho on. I've got a line here and I want to draw another line but I want it to be exactly let's say uh, 0.5 units away from this initial line or let's say one unit away from this initial line so let's say I wanted to draw uh, from the end point here um, one unit away and it would look something like this okay so in other words uh, basically a, an exact copy one unit away well one way I can do that is with the object snap tracking what that allows me to do is I'm going to start my line command it's asking me for my first point well, I've turned, remember, I've turned on my object snap tracking and I have endpoint and center point selected. What I can do is I can come over here and before I pick my starting point of my line, I'm just going to kind of come over here. I'm not picking anything. I'm not touching anything. All I'm doing is I'm just moving my cursor to the end point of this line. And if I slowly drag off, notice this little green dotted line pops up. And notice these numbers right here are changing as I move away. This is telling me the distance off of this endpoint that I want to start this line. So I'm going to pull to the right and I'm going to type in a value of 1 and hit enter. Now I've started that line exactly one unit off the endpoint of this line right here. So now it's asking me for my second point. I'm going to do the same thing. I want the y axis or the, or the y value to be the exact endpoint of this point right here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag down, I'm going to come over to this line. And once I see my endpoint O snap there, again, I'm not picking anything. I'm just going to pull to the right. Oops, pull to the right. When that pops up, notice the line that I'm drawing right here is locked in. So now if I just pick anywhere, it's locked in. So now this endpoint is exactly horizontal to this endpoint, and this starting point is exactly horizontal to that starting point. So that's how object tracking works, or OSNAP tracking works. And you can turn OSNAP tracking on and off by picking right here as well. And it's definitely something it takes a little bit to get used to. So practice OSNAP tracking, and once you get the hang of it, I think you're going to like it. But uh, anyway, so that kind of wraps up OSNAPs. I know there's a couple of more in there, and you can work with those on your own, or you can email me if you have any questions. But that's it for this tutorial. I appreciate you watching, and I look forward to visiting with you in the next tutorial. Thanks so much.